Tonight, a new witness reveals what he knows about a possible bribe offer on Tennessee's Capitol Hill, an offer allegedly made by the former Speaker of the House. This comes as an ongoing federal investigation entered a new phase with the current House Speaker and other lawmakers being summoned before a federal grand jury. Speaker, how are you? Do you know what to expect today? We'll find out soon enough. House Speaker Cameron Sexton spent about 25 minutes answering questions before that federal grand jury today, followed by a steady stream of other lawmakers and witnesses throughout the afternoon. Among them, the current chair of the House Finance Committee and other members of the GOP caucus. This investigation appears to be zeroing in on a mysterious company, Phoenix Solutions, that handled mailings for Republican lawmakers. Former Representative Robin Smith recently pleaded guilty to federal wire fraud charges and implicated former House Speaker Glenn Cassida for allegedly accepting kickbacks from the company. Any surprises in the questions they had for you? I wasn't surprised by anything. As I said, I've been working and assisting with them since 2019. Um, so I, I was pretty comfortable answering every question that they had. It's unfortunate that the actions of a few have brought this kind of attention to the Tennessee General Assembly, but hope for a quick resolution just like everybody else. All right, now to that new witness, a Republican lawmaker who reveals that he overheard that alleged bribe being offered by the former House Speaker. News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams first broke the story about that scandal three years ago, and he's continuing to follow the leads. Tell us more. Well, guys, that uh, new witness, a Republican from East Tennessee, has developed a reputation around Capitol Hill as a straight shooter, someone who tells it like it is. And that's exactly what he says he's doing now about what he overheard former House Speaker Glenn Cassida offering to pass the governor's school vouchers bill. Mr. Speaker, can, can we talk to you about... I'm late for a meeting. The short seven-month tenure of Glenn Cassida as Tennessee's House Speaker... Without objection, so ordered. Next order, Mr. Clerk. ...has been the focus of an ongoing News Channel 5 investigation, even before a texting scandal that we uncovered led to an unprecedented meeting of the House Republican Caucus... Did you resign? ...that eventually forced the Franklin Republican to give up his leadership post. Did you bribe anyone for votes for the SA vote? Oh, that's ridiculous. Our investigation had also revealed questions about how Cassida managed to pass Governor Bill Lee's 2019 plan to create school vouchers to send taxpayer money to private schools. We have today in the press an allegation of outright bribery and illegal behavior and needs to be followed up on. The governor cannot keep silent. We eventually uncovered allegations that Cassida has suggested one lawmaker could be promoted to general in the National Guard in exchange for his vote. Did it occur to you as being a bribe? It could look that way. Representative Calfee moves passage. Now Kent Calfee, a Republican from East Tennessee, confirms he personally overheard that talk of a National Guard promotion. As to whether some might be skeptical about his timing, why are we just now hearing this story now? Well, they'd have to ask you. Nobody's asked me. Lee's voucher bill, what he called education savings accounts, came up for a vote in the state house. But when the vote was taken, it fell 49 to 49. Take the vote! Take the vote! For close to 45 minutes, Cassida kept the vote open while he twisted arms in search of that 50th vote. Kelfie says he walked out onto the balcony outside the House chambers where Cassida had cornered Democrat John Mark Wendell, who had recently been promoted to full colonel in the National Guard. And Speaker Cassida says, I can't promote you to general, but the governor can. I'll give him a call. I cannot promote you to general, but the governor can. That's right. And he said, I can give the governor a call. Exactly right. And did, did he call the governor? He called somebody. I don't know who. In fact, Wendell has told colleagues he was put on the phone with Governor Lee several times, although he has never publicly detailed what was said. What was your reaction when you heard that? I was shocked. I was shocked. Governor, do you believe Representative Wendell? Uh, I, I haven't spoken with him. I don't know what, I'm not sure what you're talking about. About the no, promotion being offered. Yeah, I haven't talked to him about that. <laughs> How would you feel if such a promotion had been offered? That, that would be inappropriate. 
At the time, Lee denied any knowledge of the offer. Still, Kelfie says Lee heard he was telling people about incentives being offered in exchange for votes and summoned him to the governor's office. Lee was reportedly upset about how such talk made him look. And you had never been called to the governor's office before? Not Governor Lee. Th this stood out? Yeah, it did. You told him that you overheard Speaker Cassidy ma making that offer. I did. Did the governor have any reaction at all? He kind of mellowed real quick. Did he deny it? No. No. But I didn't ask him yes or no. Still, after Kelfie recently shared his story with the online news site, The Tennessee Lookout, Lee was asked about that meeting. I don't know anything about it. You didn't discuss it with the Representative Kelfie in your office? Don't know anything about it. When the governor says he cannot remember a conversation with you, do you believe him? I'm not going to doubt it because, like I said, he's got a lot more on his plate than I do mine. So he may, may well don't remember it. More than a year after the FBI raided legislative offices as well as the homes of three Republican lawmakers. Ms. Smith, any comment at all? And following the guilty plea of one of those lawmakers to federal wire fraud charges, many on Capitol Hill question whether this ongoing federal investigation is really just about a small company that did mailings for GOP lawmakers. What do you think is going on with this federal investigation based on what you know? A lot of people in the legislature have the same speculation, but I'll just leave it at that. The speculation is that it, this investigation is really about vouchers. I think so. A lot of people think so. Now, among those testifying before the federal grand jury was Representative Jason Zachary, who switched his vote and allowed the governor's school voucher bill to become law. Zachary was before the grand jury for just nine minutes today, and he says he was not asked about vouchers. Still, other lawmakers have been interviewed about that vote over the past three years, so we'll just have to wait and see where that part of the investigation goes.